Hey guys, welcome to Extensual Tarot. I'm Dre Eden, and I'm here to do another Who's Around You reading. And boy, <laughs> I feel this is going to be a good one. But first, I would like to thank all my new subscribers to any um, platform that you're on. Um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, uh, TikTok. I want to thank you guys um, and for watching my videos, liking, subscribing. If you feel the energy is for you, please like, subscribe. But what is you guys doing? Like, what are you doing? Because this emperor energy is crazy like it's it's doing <sighs> it's crazy guys <laughs> but you, you guys are handling it well like the collective is doing their thing and um i want to start off by saying i always pray off the camera but i want to say that spirit send you guys love and light and that if you find any messages today that they reach you in the best mind body and spirit <laughs> but um whoo yeah i know i do pre-reads and in the pre-read it came up eight of swords hangman and the empress and i said okay Eight of Swords, <laughs> instantly I got, don't move, say less. Somebody wants you to don't, they don't want you to move no more. They don't want you to say shit. They don't want you moving. Where, where Whatever you do in collective, other people, is it's not in a row. They're not really feeling it. But it actually is your abundance, your glory, and your light that you're following. So it seemed like collective, you are getting mad backlash of the way you are moving. And ultimately, <laughs> it's all just because you have a sense of intuition to be more, you know, in your element. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> Yo, the energy is crazy, and I know y'all been feeling it. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah, the hangman that don't say more, say like say less, is more off of trying to get you not to move into your glory. You're like, the things y'all guys been going for, and you guys are been going, you've been going for some things, like, personally. Your spiritual growth, your aspirations. It's like, it's at forefront to you guys right now. Like, nothing else matters. You keeping your light bright and you like tunnel vision straight forward. Like, you guys are so blessed up. And if you're listening to this, <laughs> if you decided to watch this video, I am so sorry for them. Because they are asked out because you was about to know everything. Because it has a relationship standard in it. The emperor comes to reap his benefits. You guys have been going through things in your life, in your relationships, in your close relationships in your life. That you feel like you just been getting shitted on one after another, one after another. No matter how good, how more, how prosperous, how decision making, all these beautiful things that you guys decided to do for yourself, go off for yourself, it's getting backflash. <laughs> but an emperor is not moves off the throne. Is he or she? This masculine energy got a, a, a reference of more of a relationship standard to me in this. How more or less the masculine is understanding that basically he chose the wrong partner. Yeah, it was all good. And these are people that have been together for years. Yeah, it was all good. When 
Y'all didn't know any better. Nobody went on any spiritual growth. This is what this don't move, don't say less got to do with within a relationship standard. Because it's saying that because you are moving on, if you're listening to this video, if you're moving on without the growth of your partner, where does that leave them? And that's a big gap when you're opening your eyes to any type of spiritualism and moving yourself forward, manifesting. This is what you guys are into. So when that relationship is now have a barrier of spiritualism in it, <laughs> ooh, 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 there's a problem. There's definitely a problem. Some of you guys finding out that your mate or the last person you was with, if you're single right now, was superficial. They didn't have what it took to be um, standing alone like a man or a woman have to sometimes. Right? The value level of what y'all seeing for yourselves has done with the price has went up. <laughs> Clearly, the price has definitely went up. So understanding that y'all feel this way in y'all relationships is becoming a wedge, but it can be fixed, but it takes you guys taking your partner on with you if you're single, or it takes you understanding if you, I mean, if you're together, taking your partner on these journeys, sharing these things, but you got to come to it with a logical aspect together for it, order it to work. Cause y'all going to come at two different um, assumptions, you're going to assume things within learning if you do it separately. And that's going to bring a lot of black flags. <laughs> so one of these couples within this couple is saying, don't say shit. Don't move forward. That air sword speaks volumes if it came out of relationships. Yeah. Spiritually, somebody don't want you to move forward, don't want you to say no more shit, you're doing too much. That too. The hangman is don't go forward. Mental paralysis. <laughs> Within this, you're switching, changing your mind because the Eight of Swords, the person is sitting there, right? But they're blindfolded, but nothing is binding them. They can take the blindfold off any time. And for this to come to a personal note at that time, whether it's you or this other energy, somebody's taking the fucking blindfold off. But that hangman say, no, hold up, wait. So relationships have this little pull, this grass, this hole, right? But the next card changed the whole game. The emperor came up. So through it all, through the little tactics, because in some relationships, it could be little tactics, little mind games going on, right? And then in other tactics, it could be if you're alone, it could be that you're realizing that now your worth stands at where you're at. You're done with dealing with small balls. And it's time to like big up on the things that you have. Y'all doing y'all work. Y'all coming up. Not short. And these are barriers that, like I said in my last Who's Around You video, you growing is blowing shit up. Crazy. Just everywhere. Everything is everywhere. So the Empress come with this bossed up if you masculine. And it comes with this boss bitch attitude if you're feminine. Because y'all understanding that these are the blessings that's coming into your life. You just changing your mind is moving you within that type of light. <laughs> I fucks with it. <laughs> so, when it comes to that and the energies that you're coming around, people are physically trying to affect your emotions. So you can't, so you could go in Herman mode. Like they want you in Herman mode so you can't manifest, so you can't move forward. They want that mental paralysis. Like they really want you stuck. Hangman, 
stay right there. Let them play catch up. That's not the name of the game. Like I said before, people is not willing to go on their own personal journey because everybody has a different one, right? But they'll wait until you have your journey almost together to try to impede or put their energy on. It, that ain't how it roll. <clears throat> they don't want to change. But that's all you have in front of you right now is change, steady movement to your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, everything that you see in front of you. Because even though time is non-existent, you understand that we live in a realm where time is a factor. <laughs> you learned. Something you can't unlearn. You just feel stupid about going through it. Like, next time you go through some shit that you already knew you were supposed to go through in the first place, now you feel mad crazy. <laughs> That's in this relationship dynamic. These people are realizing that they're feeling crazy because the person that they're with is not of the quality of who they're moving in front of. The uh, Divine Masculine knows she ain't shit, but he willing to stick with her. Then we got some that they know that they don't even want to be with. But they have situations. Some have kids. Some have um, assets. But the love is not there. The quality of love. Some of these people love other people, but they're stuck in this situation because maybe they do everything in the relationship and feel that they are the same came piece, but the same um, kept peace. But they actually know that that is not <laughs> the situation. So that's what I got for opening... Um, my opening read it was real deep but it was on a standard of you collectives are outdoing yourself in the movement of quality wealth stability foundation self-wealth self-care that is crazy right now this emperor energy been around for about a good month and two weeks other tarot readers can probably agree that is real it's real crazy but um, like I was saying earlier, I got some new tools, so we're going to jump right in, see what's going on. And I'm going to use the Prism Oracle to see what's going on with your energy. Ooh, a quick spirit, what's going on? Who's around? Peace. I like it. I like it. So you guys are peaceful. That's all you want. That's all you want to see. You ain't trying to understand nothing else. <laughs> Balance. I like it. Spirit, who's around? I like this. I'm going to clarify this with the tarot. Yeah, who's around? Hold on. Mm -hmm. A whole lot going on. Let's put them all over there. Yeah, who's a oh, there we go. Reflection. Like it. Yeah, who's around? Cool. Mm -hmm. Space. <laughs> okay, go on. You got sweetness on the bottom. Okay, let's jump right in. Now, y'all know all these um, messages may not resonate, but you take what will, you leave the rest, right? And um, I might be talking about you. I might be talking about somebody around you. You want to keep that um, in aspect. You know that this is interchangeable energy. I, it, male, female, it doesn't matter. You put on what they apply into your life, right? Okay. 
I'm going to start with walking in energy. You have space. Oh, God. What is space? In this deck, space is the dimensions of height, depth, and wealth within which all things exist and move. Right? So... Your world is opening up. This is the world card in this deck. Your world is opening up in a major way. And this got to do a lot with information coming in for you guys. Um, a lot of downloads. A lot of um, basic systems. Uh, creative processes. You have the space, you have the tenacity, you have the, the quality right now. Everything you need to move forward in any type of way, any type of light, anything you guys are doing right now. You are ready, together, have it. And I think this is a lot to do with you clearing a lot of your space. A lot of you guys is not in the same energies as you was before. And this is the backlash in the situations that got going on. This is also you realizing within those relationships we were talking about earlier that there is space for you to grow. And you're understanding that within that growth is taking you away. Taking a lot of the structures you used to live by break down because you see other abundance. No matter who you pray to, Allah, Jehovah. Jesus, Solomon, David, shit, Isma. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Quality as wealth is moving in your way into a way that is giving you a certain type of peace at the head. You feeling more freer to understand, to go on a, a, peaceful journey and understanding that the shit that's going on in your life is not really adding up to the feelings, the emotional, the way that spirit God created is moving you into. So now these structures of these personal people in your space will be shut the hell out. Nobody is getting through without a pass of some type of stability, foundation, that's why it's clear. It's clearing spaces. It's making movement. It's doing the things that you have to do quality to yourself. And I like that. And with that peace comes a certain balance. Because once we have it in our head that we got these situations, right? You move in a situation. Some of you guys are getting in your spaces. There are also good and valuable people but it seemed like right now they're clouded out by everybody that's choosing to hate you of, off the fact that you're choosing to go forward you're choosing to make difference out of your life you're choosing to do the work on yourself you're choosing to make a better situation out of nothing instead of making yourself angry with coming up about everything that could go wrong and then you're being proactive and moving forward within this situation. Hence the reflection. You're being mirrored by shit. Shit being mirrored by other people. The things and the ways you're moving is interacting with them the same way. They feel shut out of this space. They feel that you're too peaceful collective when people try to mess with your space and this is at the top of my star so you definitely nobody can fuck with you right now when it comes down to your personal space your balance and the things in that the peace that comes within that this is beautiful i finally got a beautiful who's around you because you're you're dictating who can sit next to you. This is on some prince energy. You're dictating. No, no, you can't sit next to me. You can. You can be here in my life. You're no longer taking what you used to. People using your time and not, you know, reciprocating that back to you in quality. 
you seeing people ain't worth shit, ain't about nothing, and you walking away within good faith, knowing that, you know, you're living by quality of life instead of the bullshit that you used to. And then for you wealthy people, you're starting to see a more peace in living a um a more peaceful life. Because with all this balanced reflection, reflection and people that got a lot of space and peace, they have a lot of distractions. So I say for the wealthy people that's watching this, you guys are going head first into understanding that living a more peaceful life is more better than living a you're still going to be a superstar regardless. You're still going to shine bright with that, whichever that is spiritually or figuratively. You still, this balance comes at a cost to your space. You're not no more going to let people come, whether or not that you can afford it or not. I like it. Let's clarify this with some Rider weight tarot. I like this. Y'all doing y'all damn thing. And it comes with a lot of... Yeah. The six of cups. A lot of give and take. You guys gave a lot in y'all... Um, you gave a lot in y'all space. And now you have a certain um, passion for the things that you want and know that it's a certain nourishment that you're going to give. You know it's a certain something that you're going to have that you're going to give and you know that it, you have to protect that by all means. So this is also those in those relationships understanding that they're not willing to um they're not willing to step down from believing whatever they believe in going forward whatever they're um going for. They they want either their mate to get with it or get left. And the Six of Cups come to say that you are valuable within your emotional state. So within that emotional state, it's like, get on with the bullshit and I'm only going to give you what you're giving me. I'm giving you my all, hence the red, and then they're giving half because they don't have that much to give. And that says a lot to say that um, you guys have to definitely be there for your mate. Show them the abundance that spirit does for you, God, creator, whoever you pray to. Show them that the, um, the universe has what they have in store for you, for both of you. If you're willing to go on the great journey together, that's we having the balance. Because if one do it, because I see a lot of sneaking behind somebody back to read tarot readings with this space, having peace on your own. You go off to have peace and then you come back and you define you having free time with your mate. You got a headache. Then you're aligning yourself with people with this balance going forward. And you're aligning yourself with that, but then there is something missing. I gotta get my wand for that. It's something missing on the other side. You're being completed. You see that? And you go back to something that's being missing. I may be talking about a Gemini right now. Maybe a Pisces. Taurus over here, too. So, um, <laughs> yeah. And this reflection has a lot to do with Page of Swords. Yeah, that fell, guys. Page of Swords. So, yeah, you guys are seeing a whole new Page of Swords. Is that not a new thought? Is that not a new thought? <laughs> That's a whole new thought. That's going on, yeah, like I said, come on, spirit, and talk. That's going on a new journey for what y'all guys are seeing in your life. Y'all seeing a lot of value, and it's it, y'all coming from this. So this void of space in your relationships is basically like, damn, what do I do? Well, you're in the right place. You You take this situation for what it is. And you add that into the quality of um, of your relationship. But if you're with somebody superficial, you know, 
I feel sorry for you guys, I gotta say. Because spirit gonna keep working on you and you're gonna be a come become abundant with the things that you're doing. And those that are can't come on that next journey are left behind. And they're not left behind because it's something you wanna do because it is a hard process. Yeah, walking. <laughs> come on, spirit. Come on, spirit. Emperor energy all day on peace. You got the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, walking away, knowing your value, knowing your worth. And it's still saying that you're not doing it um, in a union type of way. This is saying you're doing it by all means necessary. All means necessary. Like you're walking out, you guys don't have no time for the bullshit games that you're putting through. Even those in relationships right now. Even those friendships, put it where it apply, right? Even those in friendships, you're not willing to see the next moon cycle come through and y'all in the same situation that spirit is getting y'all out of. Because you understand, once you walk out of one door of neglect, one door of um, mental, um, being mentally... Uh, being mentally struck down, like in relationships, you can sometimes feel that you're not enough, your quality, your values are not there. But somewhere in that there is an emotional line of balance that will come into you guys. And then you have to fight for most of your good energy, which I don't understand in relationships. Y'all good for that. Sitting there fighting, saying you don't have peace, but you're in a relationship. How the fuck you don't got peace and you in a relationship? Know how to take back the elements that you give and don't leave them there. Because if somebody got you emotionally tied, which this is not this situation. You guys, collective, is walking forward. Seeing, but I see that too in this space of being a novice in giving. That's what that means too. I got to read all of it. That's a novice and letting your space be used up, your time, your efforts, and your worth. For those that are not walking away for a more queen of swords, mentally strong. That's a value you can't get nowhere and you're walking right into that. It's crazy. Spirit, huh? They talking? Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune, yep. Walking in right to you, um, right what you need to um do. So you guys are basically willing to sacrifice certain structures and what you have because you understand the value and the wealth that you're walking into is prominent. And this is coming up to the people that you keep around you. And I see a lot of. Ooh, Oh, that's beautiful. If peace come into the will of fortune, it means that you guys are striding during the tough times. And then people that is not of quality of the page of swords over here to this queen of swords over here, they're in that space of void where you're going to put them, shut them the hell out. Not They don't come forward. Hence it over here. This is over here. This peace sits high. This is in the past. So you guys are coming from this structure of you know exactly what you want. You see the blessings coming in your life. Spirit, what's this balance? <laughs> mm -hmm. Doing the work and people watching you. So this work that you're doing, ooh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if that ain't abundance. I didn't see it. what else was laying there, y'all. It's just sitting there. So pretty, too. The Three of Cups came out with that. So the work y'all doing, y'all about to celebrate a good time. And this can be in a physical form of any type of balance of happiness and structure. This can be you getting um balance. Oh, what's that up there? Aquarius? So, it, by Aquarius season, which is January, end of December, you guys can really be into a point where 
you got to understand the work that you're doing is leading you. Write a timeline. Write down the time of when people are acknowledging the points of your personal successes. Because this is a lot of online. This is a lot of public eye. Like, you guys can definitely be like, you know, this is people in commerce, um, logistics. This is still the energy. Like, you guys are working. And other people with um, great talents is seeing that. And back to that relationship standard that I see in this. You're only going to go forward to be abundant in your situation. And in that relationship, they're going to see you change. They're going to see you more happier because you're taking on a new, a new persona to what you feel in your life and what's going on. This is also at work. This is also in situations of that. You got the novices over here looking at you be abundance. And you not being stupid and i hate to use that word but that's what this says to me you're not being um stupid by who you give your energy to in your space whether relationship friend or foe so in this good old balance over here whether the element of relationship is missing as i said earlier your personal strength and glory is intact and people are seeing that and the celebration comes within you knowing that you are going to grow and move forward. So let's see what this reflection is. Spirit, what's this reflection? Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Reflecting on how this is going. Ooh, that's a black horse. Mm -hmm. And ending the situation. Yeah, you going forward. <laughs> the 10. You're not no longer going to go through the situations within that relationship. People, places, or thing. That had to do with you not seeing the quality. Having that peace that you understand that you're getting. Having that balance that you understand. That you now have from being woke. Right? And then leading into your own personal space, you'll be damned if you let a novice take over from what you also see fundamentally, your foundational purpose in this world is now which that you're leading into. You're, gonna, you're not going to let a relationship stay in that. You're walking away from that <laughs> straight to the hills. And also... Being very clear and looking at, paying attention to your intuition and noticing that some shit is dead on arrival. Right here. Ooh. Is that not full circle? I like that. All right. Nine of Cups. Yeah. It just get better. That's on the bottom. Yeah. Six is... <laughs> yeah. That's what she wrote. So basically, to sum this up, you come into this situation understanding your value with this space, understanding where your peace lies because you got it because you guys are walking away clearly from what doesn't um serve you anymore. And walking into this will of fortune, that's people, places, or things like in... Huh. Ending that, I also got to say with this Ten of Swords, that is also a perception of how the ending of this reflection is. It's going to hurt other people, places, or things, and maybe also you, because this change is dramatic when the mind change, right? Ideation. Or deation, no matter where you at in the world today. But that creative process will move forward, guys. Ending these situations, I love this. 
And this was a Who's Around You collective reading. And basically, Who's Around You is no damn body. Y'all clear that shit. It is gone. And you're working on yourself and you're going forward within that. Let me get an angel message for you guys before I end this. So who's around you is you, you yourself and I, your personal goals, your thoughts, your self-value. And that's beautiful for today. Spirit, give us a message for our collective. Oh, oh, what you got? <laughs> Bless it. Crystal clear intentions. Archangel, my favorite, Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. What y'all going forward anyway? Where is he going? Where are he going with what I read on? The fuck away from there. To people that do not value and understand your own wealth, health, and space. That is beautiful. It's crystal clear, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I am Dre Eden. This has been Extinctual Tarot. This has been Who's Around You? And like I said, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Stay blessed, y'all.